In this video, I will be showing the basics of points and lines in the Pix Pro software. How to draw, how to edit, and how to look up measurements. Let's begin with points. You can find the Add Point tool in the vertical toolbar or by right-clicking the Points folder in the Layers panel. Mesh with a texture is the most convenient layer for drawing points and lines. Orient your 3D view, select Add Point, and click where you want your point to be placed. Point appears in the 3D view and in the Layers panel. By right-clicking the point in the Layers panel, you have a few options. Point Editor lets you look up all photos containing the point and inspect the area in the highest quality possible. This is also where you edit point projections. See our video about projections and snapping. Rename point is self-explanatory. Edit point lets you redo the point placement. Scope to point is an easy way to find point if it gets lost. Duplicate point option creates an exact copy of the point. Export point lets you export the point in most popular formats. See note number 1 in the video description. Remove point option deletes the point. Now let's make sure our point is selected and look into its properties panel. By checking ground truth, your point will not be affected by changes done to your project's referencing. Here, you can change the color and radius of the point. You can also add annotations that will be seen in the 3D view. And at the bottom of the properties panel, you can see the point coordinates. This is it on points for now. Let's look into lines. Drawing a line is at least two times harder than drawing a point. Select that line tool in vertical toolbar or by right-clicking the lines folder in the layers panel. Start drawing the line with the left mouse button. Continue the same and right-click to end drawing. Line is represented in the 3D view as well as in the lines folder in the layers panel. Same as with points and other layers, by right-clicking the line in the layers panel, you have a few options. Line Editor opens up Line Editor. Inspect all photos containing the line and edit its projections. Rename line is self-explanatory. Add point lets you continue drawing the line. It's a two-step process. First, select a point you want to add another segment to, then place the new point. Edit point is for editing point placement. Left click and drag points you wish to move, right click to stop editing. Delete point, just click on points you want to delete and again right click to stop editing. Insert point lets you create a new point in between two other points in the line. Create polygon gives an ability to create a polygon from the line. Scope the line, find your line in case it got lost. Duplicate line creates a copy of the line. Export line lets you export the line in most popular formats. See note number 2 in video description. In case only points are needed, there is also an option to export line as points. 
Ramuvlain, Delitz Delain. Now let's make sure our line is selected and look into its properties panel. Here we can see the name of the line, how many points it contains and the ground truth option is also there. Graphical properties lets you change line color, line width, points color and points radius. If working on a digital elevation map, you also have a few preview options. Choose between straight and draped line types or combination of both. We can show line measurements we want in the 3D view as an annotation, with custom font size and an ability to add arrows. For measurements in 2D, we have horizontal and vertical lengths. And for 3D calculations, we have surface length, sideline length, slope angle and elevation. Surface length and elevation measurements are calculated using a digital elevation map. When a digital elevation map is present, you can also use the profile tool. So these were the basic functions and properties of points and lines. Keep in mind all measurements are as accurate as your project's referencing and thoroughness editing projections in the point editor. For that, look up our video on projections and snapping, we also recommend our blog post on relative versus absolute accuracy. Link down below.